Hello guys and welcome back to episode 0. The reason I've called it this is because we're not really be doing much in this episode. But this is episode number 0 of the new career mode on my channel. Now I don't think I would have put it in the title so you guys have no idea which team I've picked. Now on screen in a minute or if I don't forget to. The vote that we put up yesterday I've decided to leave up just for a day. I've picked the team that we're going to do. It's going to be a League 1 team. I decided not to go with League 2. Originally, I was going to do League 2 and South End United. I decided that it probably wasn't going to be very fun to watch due to the fact that it's such a difficult team to manage with the you know very limited funds. And I didn't feel that personally I'd enjoy it. So what I decided to do, we're going to be in League 1. And I'm going to show you the team that we've decided to pick. The team that we are going to be doing is Peterborough United. Now... Don't get me wrong, this, they are one of the better teams in the league. They are probably one of the best teams in the league. I'm not too sure because I don't follow League One. But they do obviously have John Taylor in there who is as well, who's a very quick right midfielder. So I'm happy to go with this. Hopefully you guys will be okay with this. I'm going to do this live and just set up you know, the squad screen and get ourselves into this. This series, though, is going to run for quite a long time. You know, This is going to be probably a four or five month affair because my aim is to go straight from League One, get the instant into the championship via promotion or title and then instant promotion or title into the Barclays Premier League. Once we're into the Premier League, my idea is to do up to three seasons of the Premier League, maybe what, maybe two or three, somewhere around there. And that is how we're going to set it up. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. As you can see, we are starting it up now. I thought I'd do this episode live. I know I've called it episode zero just because we're not really doing much. I'm just going to show you the team get ourselves into it and I just wanted to kind of announce it you know I didn't this is more of an announcement video rather than starting it but we'll start the first episode tomorrow where we actually start doing transfers there's gonna be no transfers today we're not gonna look at anyone to buy I'm just gonna show you the team get set up with it and kind of just let you guys know how this is gonna work so my plan for this series is to do it at least four times a week now don't hold me to that I'm not sure what sort of schedule we're gonna be going with probably Monday Wednesday Friday Sunday is probably gonna be it this weekend, I hope to get a video up on the Friday. This is when this video should go up. I want to get episode 1, 2, and 3 up on Saturday and a double upload on Sunday. Hopefully, that will be how this works. I'm not 100% sure if that's how I'm going to do it, but hopefully it will. And if you guys are looking forward to this series, please do smash that like button. If we could hit 10 likes on this video, that would be absolutely incredible. And I know you guys can do it, so don't forget to smash that like button. You can do it now, or you can do it at the end of the video. I don't mind too much. So this is the kind of the screen that we've come into. This is going to be tough. Um, it is going to be a hell of a challenge. Now, instantly we've had Mayuka come up as a potential signing. I don't think so. Uh, that's a bit of a crazy one. I don't know who we're going to sign yet. As I said, I haven't really looked at the squad. Um, I will probably tell you guys today who we will be signing or who I'm going to be looking, what sort of uh, position that we're looking weak in. But so we've got some scouts. The first thing I want to do is get a scout future star in. The reason for this is I think this is going to be vital to the series. A lot of people do it when they do these Road to Glory career modes. So straight away, I'm going to get one of the Scout Future Stars. Um, maybe the higher level ones are better. So maybe we should go for like the highest level that we possibly can. Um, I don't know if this is actually a thing or not. So we're going to have to go for the level 33. This just gives us a decent player. Because obviously our team isn't going to be the best. So I thought, why not get that straight away? And we've got a Scout that's been dispatched, which is awesome. So straight away, I'm going to take you into the team, show you probably the formation that we're going to be lining up this year. And you can see here, the one player that really stands out for me is this guy. He's an ex-Shrewsbury man, and that is John Taylor. He is quick as shit. He's very young, three-star skills as well. So he's someone that really drew me to this team as well. Just a really good player. I also like the kits as well, which is always a big thing for me. I like to have nice kits when I'm playing. Looks like we need a left midfielder straight off the bat. We're not playing a centre midfielder in left midfield. That's just not going to be happening. Um, we're going with a 4 4 2, which I think I can deal with. Um, I'm just going to look through the team kind of generally, see who we've got, what sort of issues may come up. Um, so, straight away, is any of these players injury prone? That's going to be the first thing. So, it doesn't look. Got a power free kick there. Doesn't look like anyone has got injury prone, which is good because I don't want. We've got quite a decent sized squad. Not the best. We got McLean, who was obviously in our Bradford career mode at the My Player series. A few players there who may go out on loan as well. This episode may be up to 20 minutes long. 
I wanted to do the first kind of episode or episode zero, should I say, as a long one just to introduce you guys into the series. But it looks like we don't have any injury prone players, which is absolutely great. Let's get a look at this guy. He looks all right. Um, he can play up front as well, which is always good to know. Um, he could actually be better than the striker. So who's the worst one here? He's 22. He's 21. High low work rates. God damn, that's pretty decent. Decent acceleration on that guy. That guy, again, has got decent acceleration as well. So it looks like we have two strikers I think I'll be happy with. And we've also got this Mendes Layan guy on the bench as well. Uh, do we have any like proper skills on the team? Like four star? I very much doubt that. It doesn't look like we do. We also have this James guy here as well, who looks very, very good, actually. He He's probably better than one of these, but the question is, who's worse? Um, that guy. So this guy, for James. James can be our main striker. He's 19 as well. Looks to be a promising aspect. Who else is catching my eye? Oh, we've obviously got McLean here, but he is 31. He probably won't be too used too much this season, I wouldn't have thought. We've got a centre-back here who's 28 from DR Congo. All right work rates, I guess. He's quite quick as well, which means he's probably better than this dude. He is indeed. So I'm going to put Zakuni in there. Um, this guy looks okay. I mean, he is... He's only 22. Low high work rates. Wow. So I'm definitely going to want to use Birchis in there. Uh, we've got Natal... I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. I'm not even going to bother. But uh, it looks like we only have the one left back. So left back and left midfield is definitely an issue with this team. So far, I mean, who have we got? So we've got, like, we play, we're fine with right midfielders. We should be fine with centre midfielders. We should be alright with strikers. And we might be alright with defenders. I'm not 100% sure at this point. So how old is this guy? This is the question. 22, 21, 26, 21, 25, 28, 27, uh, 22, and 20. So we've got quite a young score, which is always good. Payne, is he going to be really be worth it? I mean, this guy here looks to be promising. He is 34, though, so he probably won't get any game time this year. Ferdinand, he looks like a decent player as well. He can play out on the right, which is always good to know. Very decent stats, but the question is, is he any better than this Bostwick guy that is sitting here? He looks very nice as a player, actually. Um, he can play centre-back as well. So it looks like we've got a good variety in this team, which is always good to see. I'm just going to arrange it quickly into how I want it. We don't want this guy on the field. We've got this Baldwin guy as well, who probably is a loney, judging by his shirt. Um, but we could do another centre-back on the bench. We, we're very, very short, actually, on squad. I didn't really realise we could probably do with another centre-back. I mean, we literally have two there and one other guy. And, I mean, I don't want to use a 54-rated centre-back, if I'm honest. So, a centre-back, a left midfielder, and a left-back is going to be kind of the main objective of the first transfer window. We're going to make sure... That our instructions are set up correctly as well. Because I want these guys to better. I want him to press the back line. And I also want him to press the back line as well. Um, let's try and keep at least him in the central. I don't want him drifting out. He's our main striker this James kid. So stay central. And attacking runs. Get him behind. Because I don't think he's that tall. Is he not? He's six foot, but he's quite quick, so I want him cutting up there, and I wanted to keep that going. We've got any dodgy work rates here. Um, not too bad. So I think, oh, hi, hi. So let's make sure he does actually stay back at times as well. You know, I want stay back. Um, I actually wouldn't mind him overlapping. That would be quite fun. So that's going to be that. Um, I'll set up a second team sheet as well now for you guys. It's going to be a bit of a boring episode, but it's nice to kind of show you guys how we start up a career without, you know, editing it all out as such. So... Here's going to be our second team. This is going to be... Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do that. And we'll also give McLean a chance. Uh, and we'll chuck him on the right. Just literally putting in the players that could do with the game time, really. Um, we probably won't be using the second team a hell of a lot. Um, obviously, left midfield is a bit of a stretch position at the moment. So we could probably just chuck that guy in there. You know, he can... Holy crap! 97 balance. Dude. That's crazy. Three-star skills, three-star weak foot. He looks like a decent prospect. Um, and who else? Uh, so, back here we can have Baldwin and Santos. And then we don't have a right back. So, that's a position right back, left back, and left midfield. God damn, we really do have an issue with this. Um, 
I'll perhaps change that in the next episode. We've got this Walker guy as well who's... Fuck me! Bye, my, my language at 40 years old. Holy Jesus Christ. He's getting on a little bit, that's for sure. But, um... I don't know what else we want to have a look at, I guess. Um... What I will say is we will advance on a little bit just to get our new player in to see who he's like. Um, I don't want to do too much this episode because this is obviously episode zero. So I'd rather not really do anything too incredible. I'm not going to be making any transfers or looking at any players. Obviously the transfer market is working its thing. Um, but uh, let's see what comes back. Let's stop this. So how do we know when our player comes through? Or has he already come into the squad? Um, let's have a look at the transfers and sell plans. It should tell us who joined this season. No one. So, uh, okay. So, that could be the guy, actually. Henry. Um, I don't think it would be him. Could be him. That uh, comes in 2013. Um... So yeah, I don't think we've had our scout through yet. I don't know, really. I'm a bit confused. Can't remember how exactly how that works, actually. But anyway, let's see what happens with this. I want to know if we do get our scout future start in or what. I don't really know what it's doing. Um, I'm going to stop simming because it looks like we've already got the guy in our squad, which is a little bit confusing because... Um, Luto. This must be the guy, then. Um... He looks decent, I guess. Um, I don't know. Is that the guy that we got on the the thingy, my bobber, or is it not? I honestly have no clue. Um, could be that guy, I guess. Genuinely, could be any of these players. I honestly have no idea who our scout future star was. So, uh, yeah, I have to check that after the episode. But this actually might be almost the end of the episode because I don't, as I said. Oh, we got 2.7 million, so I could probably knock that up a little bit. Kind of like 2 million, which will be around like 60 to 30. That'll do. Um, as I said, we'll probably be going for loan players this year. Um, what I will do quickly is we'll send out a scout, because we'll have a 5-star scout, won't we? We will indeed have a 5-star scout, boy. Um, I want to try and bring in English players as well, or at least... Oh, okay, maybe not. Um, I guess we should scout what I want to do is this guy here like what even are you doing recall recall I want to send the five star dude into England and what I want to get we don't need any of that what I'm going to be looking for is left midfielder um, preferably under like 27 and first team quality yes we don't actually have a left midfielder do we no we don't uh, we also need a left back Again, first team quality, 27 again. And we also need a centre back as well. Jesus, I think we even need a right back. I can't even remember now. It was a long list. But uh, that's going to be that. We're going to be going for loan players as well. I might have a cheeky look on the uh, transfer list, but I don't think I will actually scout on route. Okay, so that's our five-star scout. What other scouts do we have? Do we have any other good ones? Three-star and a three-star and a five-star. So that's good with me. We could hire a Youth Academy staff. I don't know if I want to do this in the first season, judging by the price. Holy crap. Um, I wouldn't mind picking up like this guy, I guess, Connor Bentley. But I think we'll leave that for the first season because it's a bit expensive and I want to hire in the best that I can. So this is the end of the episode, I would like to say. Um, we'll quickly have a look at the squad report. So it looks... Like, everyone is pretty good. Looks like they spent a lot of money in the transfer window by the looks of this. How many loanees do we have? That's also an issue that I have. I think a lot of these players that are good are actually loaned in. So, loanee, the only loanee by the looks of it is Aaron McLean, which is actually really good. So, we've got Bristy. Why is he loaned out exactly? Like, dude, like, that guy could... Holy crap, that dude could come in useful. Look at him, he's 28 years old. Jesus, look at his stats. I could, I could actually deal with that guy right now. YOLO. I want him back. Tyrone Bennett, mate. Why are you at a different team? Like, I need you in my team, mate. That's just bonkers how he is not featured in my team. Like, this guy is straight into the starting 11. Why, honestly, is one of our best players out on loan? I will never know. That actually saves us a bit of cash now because... 
It doesn't look like we're going to need another striker, which is always good. So, Washington and Vessel on the back track. That is going to be it, guys. I'm sorry that I'm rambling on. But, yeah, goddamn, like, Barnett, you are welcome to the team, mate. Welcome to the team. So, that is the end of the episode zero, as I've called it. Hopefully, you guys are really looking forward to this criminal. I cannot wait to start recording it properly. I might even go and record the next episode straight away because I'm so excited to get this underway. And hopefully, you guys are as well. So, if you did enjoy it, as I said, if you could hit 10 likes, that would be absolutely incredible. And I will speak to you guys in episode number one that hopefully will be uploaded tomorrow.